360. 350. 360. Oh, for God's sake. You're 10 yuan apart. You know what? I'm paying the difference. Withdraw it from my stick. Can you guys please wrap this up now? What? Uh, How dare you? Sorry? It's 10 yuan. That's nothing, right? Nothing? Nothing! You understand nothing. It's not about money, it's about respect. Scheiße! Puta! You've taken my face and you stepped all over it. I have no face. <laughs> Look, down there on the ground. What's that? That's my face. <laughs> no, I won't lose face because of this, this dupa. And paying the full sticker price. What is it? 1200 yuan? Here, take all of it. All of it! <laughs> you oh should my God. come by more often. <laughs> I'm... That wasn't... Uh, what? What just happened? I just made 800 from your little show. Nice work. Never mind. What can I help you with? I'll give you a very special price on anything you want. Okay, so I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. So, hey, welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. <laughs> oh, that guy was amazing. It's not about the money. Sure seemed like it was. You were arguing about the money. Fucking weird people. Hey, I'm trying to talk to someone here. Don't walk in between us. Rude. Here, let me get closer. Up close and personal so nobody can come in between us. Hi. See anything you like? Whatever you want. One day only. Very special price. Alright, something nice for Queenie. Hmm, fans? I don't see how a Chinese fan could stave off the summer heat and pro past. Chinese medicine? Snake oil. At least they're running an honest scan. <laughs> they actually literally sell snake oil. Ooh, is that the same wine? The one, Oh, I guess I cut out that section, didn't I? Uh, there is a wine over there that's way too expensive. It's very nice, but it's really, really expensive. It costs 20000 And this looks like the same wine. A bottle of Baiju. It is. That's the very expensive wine. Okay, so I think that's what I want to buy. That bottle of, um, Baiju. You have excellent taste. Finest Chinese wine. Most prestigious gift. Made with short grain rice from Wu Chang and the rarest seeds of tear grass grown in the greenest vales of Inner Mongolia, with purified water from the ancient oasis of the Gobi Desert. Sounds very familiar. What's that? Nothing. How much? Since you helped me, I give you a very, very special price. It's normally 20,000 yuan, but I'll sell it to you for 5,000. Generous, but still a bit steep. Can you give me even more of a special price? What? Are you insane? Short grain rice from Wu Chang? Mongolian tear grass? Gobi well water? Point taken, but no thank you. Wait, are you serious? I still can't afford it? Even after all that? Because I've only got, um, 2,000? Yeah, 2,000. Change your mind? You won't find a bottle of wine this fine for a price this low anywhere in the bricks. No. Nope. Too expensive. What, I can't even haggle? Like the other dude? I'm not quite sure what she's selling. Uh, um, an eclectic assortment of merchandise. And also that Baiju stuff. Change your mind? No. Nope. I can't even haggle. What, uh, what am I supposed to buy? Am I supposed to buy it, but I'm supposed to just get more crypto coin? This is kind of an annoying quest. Anyway, um, well, I'll make some progress, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, this is the guy that was selling this wine for 20000 and she's selling it for, what was it, like 3000 or something? So maybe if I tell him that she's offering a lower price, he'll lower his price? How come that woman over there is selling yes. the exact same wine for only 5000 yuan? Oh, 5000 What? That no good is honesty! We'd agreed on a special price. Oh, uh, she's selling a cheap counterfeit made with the lowest of low-grade synthetic rice in imported space water. But I don't want you to suffer because of her dishonesty and trickery. I will sell you this bottle for 3,000 yuan. 
from 20,000 to 3,000. A special price! Only for you! Only today! Still too expensive, though. That is my final offer. I'm already losing money on that. Okay, now we go back to her and tell her all about the special, special price. So she can give me a special, special, special price. I found another bottle of wine. Same as yours, but cheaper. 3,000 yuan. What? Impossible! No one sells this wine for less than 15,000 yuan. It must be a different label. Same exact label. A forgery then. This is the bricks. There are forgeries everywhere. Not here, of course. I'm legal. Everything you see on this table is the real deal. Of course. Sure, but it looked the same to me, and since I can't tell the difference... Wait! Wait! I give it to you for... For two. Can't believe I'm saying this. Two. Two thousand yuan. That is more my price. I hope you're happy that my children won't Excuse be eating tonight. <laughs> oh, come on. But I can live with it. You're a ruthless negotiator. I respect that. I wonder if this stuff is even good. For all I know, it's just like sweetened water or something. With some food coloring to make it look like wine. The prices are obviously ridiculous, but I don't know if the product is even really? decent. I knew you wouldn't buy anything. Yeah, that puzzle was disappointingly adventure gamey. I mean, I already had I already had a little taste of that, which was mostly just hilarious back with uh, Keon in Friar's Keep, with the whole uh, pillow on a broom to catch arrows and use the arrow to pick a lock thing. But that was just kind of funny because it was a really small environment and you know, pretty quick to solve, so it's not way. too annoying and more amusing than anything. But. This one, not so much. Thankfully, the solution is just right here. So I didn't have to go halfway across the city, but... Yeah, uh, I didn't really like that. That was more annoying than anything. I mean, it's so adventure gamey to have it so that you have money, you have to buy a gift, and there's all these gifts that I could buy along these tables, but of course, the only thing I can really get is that one bottle of wine that costs too much. And then the way to get that whole thing started is by trying to pay the difference between two arguing people. And that and that leads to her giving you a special price, which leads to you being able to go to another person and tell them that the other person's giving you a special price, so they give you an even more special one. Like, there's no logical connection there. There's no reason for me to think that trying to pay the difference was something I could even do, let alone trying to pay the difference is something that would lead to her offering me a lower price, let alone that that's something I could then deliver to the other person selling the same bottle of liquor which would lower the price even more, and so on and so forth, and that, that just wasn't really well made, frankly. But, oh well, minor thing. Okay, let me aboard, girl. This is a bottle of, um, Baiju. Rare seeds, clean water, hand-picked, distilled with with her gray eyes. rice. Oh my god, her eyes are terrifying. Things. <gasps> so I can see. I'm sorry, but Queenie gets a lot of bottles of cheap baiju. This isn't cheap, honest. It's a really great bottle of wine. I mean, look at the price tag. 30,000 yuan. You're in the bricks. Price tags are transient. One moment, please. Yes, madame? This will suffice as a gift. Thank you. You can go across and see the madame now. Just put your gift on the table and go on through. She's waiting for you. Thanks. Oh, thank God. It's like, if I have to do something to change that label, oh my God. Alright, so what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get her support for Leah Uminska, or whatever her name is, and stuff, yeah. Step softly, young lady. The vibrations are throwing off my precision. Oops. Sorry. Tut tut. No talking either. We're closed today, but seeing as you got past my girl, I guess you have legitimate business. Yeah. Hiya. Well, s sort of. Yes? I'm with the Uminska campaign. Uminska, Leia. Unity? I'm quite familiar with the Social Democrats, girl. You work with Baruti Marfane, then? Yeah, yes. He's a nice man, genuine. You can tell he believes in his work. 
do you? Um, what? Why are you in politics, young lady? Zoe, Castillo. I'm, uh, in politics because, well, because... That's a very good question. Why am I in politics? I'm obviously not too much into it. Although I am going to the party thing later today. But that's not because I'm into it. Uh... I want to make a difference, and I have the time to spare. But the truth is that I don't know why I ended up working for the campaign. I'm not even sure it's something I want to do or should be doing. I don't really know enough about the politics of Europolis yet to make an informed decision, but here I am. Should I say that? Yeah. Just be honest. She's obviously... You can obviously tell she's a no-bullshit kind of woman. So I'm just going to tell her the truth. I, uh... Very well. Let me rephrase that question. Whittle it down for you. Why Uminska? Because the alternatives are so bad. Kaiser Wolf, Dieter Gross, the Marxists. I wouldn't want to live in a city governed by either of them. Maybe unity isn't the perfect option, but... In this case, it's certainly the lesser of many evils. Unfortunately, that is often what it comes down to. There's no one else. Perhaps there isn't. It's not the most passionate or convincing of arguments. If you're here to sell me on the idea of supporting her campaign, you're doing a frankly terrible job of it. Well, yes. Here's the thing. No, I can't sell this. That's not me. I'm not Baruti. I don't have enough faith in Uminska or the party. And maybe Queenie will feel I lack conviction, and I fail, and and we lose the Chinese vote and Baruti's job. Great. Fantastic. Sigh. I have nothing to lose. It's time to bring out the big guns and tell it like it... Oh, God, I'm not good at this. But honestly, why would anyone want to vote for anyone else? Particularly when the most likely alternative is Kaiser Constantine. Maybe the hard sell will come across as dishonest. She seems like someone who appreciates honesty above all else. That's definitely true. No. You know what? I'm not even going to try. It's not going to sound heartfelt or honest enough for her. The Ruti should be here instead of me. I'll just get out of this and head back as soon as I can. Maybe the hard sell will come across as dishonest. I think I want to go with this one. Seems like someone who appreciates honesty. Yeah. Do you want Constantine Wolf to run Europolis? Now is not the time for politics. Not yet. I want to know what really bothers you, Senorita Castillo. What are you looking for? Be honest with yourself. I think what I'm really after is some sort of meaning to it all. The conspiracy, the coma, the fragmented memories. All of it. I want it all to make sense, and I want to stop feeling like I'm not in charge of my future. More than meaning, maybe I'm simply after belonging. Somewhere. With someone. To find peace. To accept who I am, where I am, to be happy. Perhaps more than anything, it's not remembering that haunts me the most. Not knowing exactly what happened to me. To the people I care about. To be so uncertain about so much. I can't even trust myself because sometimes I feel I'm... Old. An imposter. Without our memories, can we really be ourselves? I want to remember what happened to me. Before the coma. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? I'm so, so, so sorry. That was really inappropriate. I, I don't even know why I... Really inappropriate. Not at all. Now I know who I'm speaking with. Shall we discuss politics? Really? Um, y yeah. All right. So, we... Leia Uminska, the Social Democrats, they... We're wondering if you would... Support Uminska and the Social Democrats in the election, I know. 
I'm thinking about it. You see, Zoe, the most important thing for me is this community and the people who look to me for guidance and support. They trust me and my judgment. I know that I have to take a political stand, and I know that stand will have implications and repercussions. The Blues have left me alone, never bothered me. Dito Gross is a safe choice, the status quo. Wolf, I do not trust. I have no wish to see him or his European dawn thugs in power. The consequences of that would be on the scary side of unknown. The Marxists are preoccupied with rhetoric, demonstrations and marches, grand speeches and even grander gestures. I don't think they'll get in my way, but they do get on my nerves. And we have your social democrats. They are the compromise. I usually abhor compromises. In this case, however, the extremes aren't very attractive. And so it comes down to this. Prove to me that your party cares about this community and the people in it, and you'll have my support. That's what politics means to me. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. How do I prove that? The Eye's been increasingly successful at keeping undesirables off the streets. That doesn't mean they're not here still. There's a city beneath the city, populated by those who have fallen through the cracks. People with no home, no identity. Old, young, children. There's a girl, a young girl, Hannah Roth. I was in contact with her, but now she's fallen off my radar. I haven't seen her in days. I'm worried that, I'm worried. Help Hannah, find her. Tell her Queenie is looking for her. If you can, bring her to me. If not, just make sure she's all right. Do this for me and we will talk politics again. I'll do my best, but where do I start? Nella Vilcek. She sells food- Up top, the food court outside Sesadri Tower. I'm sorry, but yeah, I know Nella. She's a friend of mine. It's incredibly weird. No coincidence, no story. What's that? I guess you were the right person to ask, Castle Dweller. Castle Dweller. Hannah mentioned some odd jobs she'd done for Miss Vilcek. I don't know the details. I'm guessing deliveries. I'll start with Nella. I'll let you know when I know more. Thank you, Miss... Queenie will do. I left my old name behind somewhere. I had no use for it anymore. It's weird that she doesn't want to use her real name. I wonder why that is. She said there are so many lost people out there, so many homeless children. What's so special about this Hannah? I guess she personally knows Hannah somehow, but let's ask about it. Why Hannah? You mean why this particular girl, and not a thousand others? The others are names, places. She's a person. She's important to me. That's all you need to know. And now you've taken up enough of my time. There is work to do for both of us. Very strange. She called me Castle Dweller. That is a really weird thing to call someone. And her name... And the things on her fingers? Or are those replacements for her fingers? I don't really know. I'm trying to think. Between the name thing and the castle dweller thing and just her overall strangeness. Is she maybe from the longest journey? From another realm? That seems almost ridiculous to say, but it's possible, isn't it? Like, I wonder if she showed up in the first game somewhere, as one of the characters. I, I don't know, it's been too long since I've played it to remember everybody, but Castle Dweller, I mean, what the hell? That's a really weird term, more befitting of 
the other realm. I'm trying to remember it. What's the other realm called? Is it Arcadia? I can't remember. It's very strange, though. There's something going on there. Alright, Nella. Uh, she's probably not at her food cart anymore. Oh, apparently she is. Yeah, go to Nella Bites and speak with Nella about Hannah Roth. I was thinking maybe she'd be at the political rally at this point, but... It seems that she is. Uh, still at her food cart. Castle Dweller. I just I keep thinking about that. That just sounds... So very, very weird. Actually, while I'm on my way over there, let's read more of the diary. So where did I leave off? I know the next one was very long. Project Find a Friend, I read that. I have a job, I think, I read that. Yep, he is huge, massive, a mountain, talking about wit. Mm, yes, this one I have not read, okay. This is, <laughs> this is the hellaciously long one. Thursday, June 15th, 2220. I knew I wouldn't be able to keep updating my journal on a regular basis. I'm so predictable. And busy. Busy me. Busy, busy bee. So, an update. Yoga for my mind. An exercise in memory. Here goes. 1. Europolis is growing on me. Okay, yeah, the flat is awful. The ventilation system rarely works. It's hot. It smells weird. There's no sunlight and people talk funny, but I like the energy. I like the diversity. Casablanca was like London. Beautiful, safe, prosperous. All shiny metal and glass and polished stone, but never particularly exciting. It's exciting here, and there's history in these streets. Filthy, stinking, crumbling, fading history, but history. There are art galleries and cinemas and a thousand million food carts. Add a I don't know what the hell that is for lunch, and it was delicious. Sure, there are CD sex clubs, illegal dream emporiums, and people urinating on the streets. But at least it's genuine urination. Urination with gusto. Two, I like my job. Weird, I know. I'm not using my education at all, and I'm starting on the floor, below the floor, in the sub-sub-basement. But that's sort of refreshing, liberating. I'm learning a lot. I feel like I'm actually evolving. Maybe in six months, a year, I can use my newfound skills to get a good job. But for now, I like this. Three. I've gone political. So that's pretty weird, I guess. When did Zoe ever care about politics? I hear people say inside their heads, which means I can also read minds now. Awesome! But I both do and don't. Let me explain. Dear Diary, I am now volunteering for a political campaign. I was browsing the wire, looking for things to do locally, and there it was. An ad for a voluntary position. Assisting the Aaliyah Yuminska campaign. Yuminska is the mayoral candidate for Unity, the Europolitan Social Democrat Party. Or Social Democratic Party, rather. Hey, I thought, that's a thing to do which could also be rewarding and interesting. I read up on Unity's agenda and Yuminska's track record. Figured they were probably the party I'd vote for, if I voted, which I haven't, and sent in my application. The next day, I met Baruti. Baruti is great. More about him later. And 30 minutes later, I was a volunteer with a mission. I was political. So, why? It's like waking from a slumber, I guess. Or, hey, maybe a coma? Before all the things, I lived in a protected bubble. I was spoiled. I was bored. I was aimless. I didn't care. But going through what I went through, losing everything and everyone, moving to a new city, it's given me perspective, if nothing else. And even if I'm still not a very political person, I do see the need for change to happen. Here. Everywhere. Also, meeting Baruti and seeing his engagement and passion, that's infectious. It must be amazing to care as much as he does to sacrifice and work hard to achieve something for the greater good. I want that. I want to be able to feel that way. 
and the Social Democrats seem like the only ones who won't do any more harm to Europolis. How's that for idealism? 4. As for Project Find a Friend, I'm not doing a very good job. Here are my candidates. A. Nella, of Nella Bites, Food Cart Lady, Marxist, Firecracker, very loud and energetic. Better in small doses. I can tolerate having lunch with her and maybe watching an old movie. Not a sleepover or a day of shopping, or a night of drinking. B. Sully. Love Sully. Sully is the best. But he's Rez's friend, and he likes me just a tiny bit too much for us to just hang out on our own without it feeling maybe a teensy bit awkward. He's still awesome. Best guy. C. Baruti. Campaign manager guy. Yeah, maybe? He makes me smile, and I have a lot of fun working with him. For him. But he's my boss, and we're very different. We can be friendly. We can have drinks and talk about the campaign, or Europolis, or food, but that's as far as it goes. D. Mira. Wit. Yeah, no. E. Reza. This is a depressing list. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, let's leave, leave it there for now. This is no place for a young lady. What? S standing on the docks is no place for a young lady? What are you talking about? I stay awake and dream all night. Trouble stay focused. I dream about. I guess he didn't feel like playing anymore. <laughs> Just threw his guitar on the ground in frustration. Alright, now I need to find my way back to where I was before. I know it's somewhere up. I just don't know where. I think it's this way. Yeah, there's our food cart. Look at these things on the ground. Oh, posters. It's for the Dream Emporium. House of Dreams. <laughs> it says bigger, better, bolder, wetter. Yeah. Map! Get your map here! It's you! Map! What? Huh? Who? Me. The superhero from my dream! You're her! Oh! The, the bed girl! I, Afraid of the dark, really the thing in her closet. Uh, I'm not her, whoever she is. Yes, you were in my dream. You told me it'd be all right, and it was. You helped me wake up. You're mistaken. I don't even own a dream machine. I couldn't possibly have been in your dreams. It was you. You were there. I don't use it much anymore. The dream machine, most of the time, I say no, just like you told me to. I read instead. I'm reading a lot. The book I'm reading right now is about this girl who's dreaming, but doesn't know she's dreaming. I'm worried about Mum. She's always in dream time. She prefers that to being awake. She doesn't eat much, or go outside, ever. Thank you for helping me. Uh, Zoe, right? Thank you, Zoe. Uh, how do you... I didn't... What? What the hell was that all about? That should help kickstart her memory a little bit, hopefully. And good, she's not using the dream machine, although, given what she said about her mother, well, she's obviously abusing it. It's not good. Okay, that's what I thought. She's probably at the political thing, right? Gone to restock, back soon. Odd. Nayla doesn't typically leave her cart during peak business hours. She usually restocks first thing. Okay, assuming she actually has gone to restock, where would she restock? The note says she's gone to restock. That's all it says. Alright. Uh, where would you buy food? Well, everywhere. Where would you buy raw ingredients, though? Not prepared food. So obviously not from another food guard. I, I still suspect she's gone to the political thing. I don't remember when that was supposed to be, but...
Let's go check. I'm going to go to the political thing. And if I happen to see her on the way, then great. Unless she's been stopped, maybe. You know, by, by the man, the arm of the law. Okay, I need to get down, and this is not the way to do it. Crap. That goes up, that's not good. Can I go up and then down? Uh, no, not really. That way it just goes to a dead end. I think there's only one way to go down, isn't there? It's between Wolf and Aminska, isn't it? Gross and Rebus are meeting. Yeah. Alright, political thing where I saw everybody demonstrating. Where was that? Was that the main, like, plaza place? I think it was. Yeah, it was. The place where I took Shitbot to, um, go do some bot interaction. I think. Weren't you heading out of district this week? Yeah, but the art of like Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's right up here. Is she here? Down with the sin dictate. Nella? The eye watches, but who watches the eye? No, she's not here, is she? Stand up against our corporate overlords. Yeah, screw the overlords. The eye watches, but who watches the eye? Okay. So where would you go to restock? Assuming she actually did go to restock. Because given what Zoe was saying about that being odd, maybe she didn't actually... Hmm. Alright, well I'm gonna try to find her and I'll be right back. Something I've noticed as I've run around here is that I keep finding a lot of people that Zoe seems to kind of recognize, but I can't talk to them. Like this guy. He looks really familiar. Ralph Farbeek. You're disrupting traffic. Keep walking. And there's also this guy over here. Vienna? Vienna. Two nights in the metro station waiting for Joseph O'Keefe. Who is that? Do I know him? I don't know if that's just some like funny reference thing they put in or if that is actually supposed to be like part of the story. I, I don't know who those people are. Oh, here we go. I found something. Something strange. Strange happenings, you could call it. Because it's it seems to literally be called strange happenings. Let's listen in. Well, let's look first. Something's going on. Nella looks upset. Look, Adse, I said I'd do my part. That is exactly what you said. But I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm all about shifting the balance of power, huh? About getting the Bonza to think twice. Not about fucking shit up just for the sake of fucking shit up. That's not what I signed up for. I want to pick up my supplies and get back to feeding the barrio. If I can convert some sozies and better heads while I'm at it, great. If not, I move on. That don't sound like someone's committed to the course. Oh, fuck off. I'm delivering as promised, no? I'm getting a friend to source me the nanotech. She has special access, a couple of days, week at most. But with the eye poking into my affairs, committing random acts of personal violation, drones and checkpoints everywhere, trying to tread a little more cautiously, lest we find ourselves bereft of food cart, food, and freedom. Anything else you need me for, brother, I'm all game. I remember you saying you'd walk the walk, not just talk the talk. I need to draw my line somewhere, and this is where I draw it. Whatever. As long as you deliver. Colo, seriously, when do I not? 
It seems Nella might be in a little bit deeper than I thought. I thought she just went to demonstrations, but no, she's obviously doing more. <coughs> Hello. Puta Dupek, what are you doing here? I was just... you weren't at the cart, so I went looking. You went looking? Are you spying on me, Zike? Jesus, Enspan Nella, no, I wanted to ask you about Hannah Roth. Hannah? Hannah? What the hell for? I need to find her. That doesn't answer my question, and you won't find her. She's... Shayas, I just stop. Stop looking, stop asking, and stop following me. This is not something you want to get involved in. Just let it go, and go, get out of here. You're not going to find Hannah, and you're not going to ask me about her again. Go, get the fuck out of here! What if I do ask you about her again? I guess I shouldn't. I'm supposed to go back to Broody. Hannah Roth will have to wait, no matter how worried Queenie may be. Nella's in a foul mood, and I'm not about to go poking her with a sharp stick. Okay, yeah, probably a bad idea. The Collective. Okay, so this is where you get ingredients and stuff. Gotcha. Closed. And no buzzer. I'm guessing you need an appointment. Alright, well, I'm going to go back to Baruti in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.